Professor Mick Jagger has discussed the possibility of the Rolling Stones outlasting his lifetime with the rise of AI technology in the music industry. ABBA have seen huge success with their ABBA Voyage virtual concert residency, which sees avatars depict the singers as they appeared in their 70s heyday. Now, the Rolling Stones frontman Mick, 80, has discussed the possibility of a posthumous tour with AI avatars depicting himself and his fellow bandmates on stage. <music> Referencing ABBA's success, he told WSJ Magazine, you can have a posthumous business now, can't you? You can have a posthumous tour. The technology has really moved on since the ABA thing, which I was supposed to go to, but I missed it. The Rolling Stones, made up of Mick, Keith Richards, and Ronnie Wood, are releasing their first album of new material in 18 years, and their first since Charlie Watts' death. Drummer Charlie sadly passed away in August 2021, aged 80, following complications from emergency heart surgery. There are two tracks on the new album which were recorded in 2019, meaning the late drummer will still feature on the project in a sweet tribute to the music icon. Elsewhere in his WSJ interview, Mick also told how he has no plans to sell the rights to the band's back catalog, insisting his children don't need $500 million to live well. Mick has eight children with five different women, including his eldest daughter, Karis, 52, who was a result of a fling with actress and singer Marsha Hunt. He went on to have daughter Jade, 51, with his then wife Bianca, and also has four children with Jerry Hall, daughters Elizabeth, 38, and Georgia, 30, and sons James, 36, and Gabriel, 24. Mick also has a son Lucas, 24, with Luciana Jimenez, while he shares his youngest son Deverox, 6, with his partner Melanie Hamrick. The rocker also recently revealed that he went public with ballerina Melanie on social media to stop speculation over his love life. Mm -hmm.